Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to use the Twitter Dub software to do a complex Twitter search. When you're searching for tweets, you can search usually by a search term. Um, that search term could just be a word, it could be a hashtag, um, it could be a phrase. What you can do is filter that automatically via the search. Um, if we come to the scrape tab, let's have to make the view a bit bigger for you here. Yep, so on the scrape tab, indicated by the um, up menu icon here at the bottom, advanced tweet search options. Click that. Here you'll see a control. Um, you'll be able to specify your search term. Let's say I want to find all tweets tagged with the hashtag SoundCloud. I then want to limit this search perhaps to a city, perhaps to a music venue, um, perhaps to anywhere, you know, any, any location you can think of. What we will need to enter is the location coordinate. That will be the latitude and longitude. And if you don't know them, which I'm imagining you don't, you can probably find them on Google. Um, Google Maps will give them to you. Or we can try to help you to find them. What we'll do is we will click these great coordinates from the address entered. So let's say I wanted um, London, UK. So I'll click scrape. Um, here we have a box saying the program found a location called London, UK and the coordinates are entered here. We can then specify radius. The radius is in kilometers. So from this position, which for London, UK will be the center of the city, and we can specify radius um, from that point that will be included. And London is a big city. Um, I'm not sure of the diameter or from the radius from the center, but let's say um, we want to go 10 kilometers out um, from the point which will give us a diameter of about 20 kilometers, which in miles would be about, about 13, 14 if you work in miles. Probably doesn't include all of London, but it's good enough for this tutorial. We can specify the tweet type. Perhaps we only want recent tweets. Recent tweets uh, is a great way to make sure the Twitter account is active. I mean, other ways to use popular, popular tweets. Um, what makes a popular tweet? I'm not entirely sure. Um, it depends on Twitter. Twitter just returns what they consider to be popular tweets. Or you can specify mixed, which will be some recent and some popular. We can also limit the, the date of this search. Perhaps um, there's been music festivals happening in London um, for a specified date, so we want to get all tweets maybe for two weeks before the festival and maybe two weeks after. Um, during those times, we can be sure that um, there will be lots of tweets about the festival. Um, so what you do here is you'd specify, right, say our date was on the 15th of November, we're going to go two weeks back, which would be the 1st and it's the 18th, so we can't go much more above the 15th, above the 18th. Um, you don't need all these options, perhaps you only want the coordinates, um, you don't want the dates. Um, Perhaps you want the dates and not the coordinates, so you can build the search as you want. So you click build search, and now we have a JSON or JSON um, search, which can be used in the searching in the program. So we copy the search, take it out, and then if you are searching for users to follow, you would enter it in the box here. And then I want to perform a tweet search. I want to use my account. And then I'm going to follow the accounts with a pause of 9 to 30 seconds. Just for this tutorial, um, you don't want to put a random pause based on the number of users you'll be following. The more you follow, the better idea is for a bigger pause, just not to hit any rate limitings. And then when that's all done, we will click follow the action has been created. We will then go to the processing tab where we can see our action is 
action from a previous tutorial I cancelled. So here it is, processing the uh, JSON tag up here, finding um, the hashtag SoundCloud GeoPoint, finding our items, processing our items. So that's how we can build a custom search, um, filtering on location on search term and date that the tweet was made. Um, so it's a great way, depending on your account, you may find a use for this. Perhaps you are a localized business, um, you are running searches, or you want to action only on specific users from a specific region, um, users in a particular date period. Perhaps you want to target them for a, a direct message campaign. I'm offering them a special offer, um, perhaps you want to tweet them a mention, or you just want to follow them or like their tweets, interact with them any way you can. So again, this, um, this feature came from a user request who wanted to have a better filtering option on location. We agreed it would be a great option to have in the program, and so it was ed added um, a few days after the request come in. If you have any questions on this tutorial, any questions regarding the program, any issues, or you do have any feature requests, do let us know. Come to the forum, rootjazz.com slash forum. Um, we tend to improve the program based purely on customer feedback. We want to make the program the program you want to use, so we add features coming from customer feedback. We don't just add features we think you want and force you to use them. So do contact us, you will get a reply. I won't promise you will have your feature added, but we will discuss it. Um, we will say if we think it's a good idea, if we think it's not a good idea. Um, if you want to argue with us that you don't think we understand the benefits of your feature, please do. Um, we do not profess to be the most advanced Twitter users out there. So we will discuss um, your idea. Perhaps we can work together and make it better. So do come to the forum, rootjazz.com forum. Thank you for watching.